charismatic, talented, and just a general joy to watch. Xavi Simons was a wonder kid who quickly went from a social media sensation because of his footballing talents to a total flop. But then he got lucky. Really lucky. And there's Xavi! That's the goal that they were looking for! A Vartel for Beer. Simons! Nouvelle! Xavi Simons! This is how Xavi Simons saved his career from dying even before it truly started. If Barcelona legend Xavi Hernandez ever comes to your mind every time you hear Xavi Simons, it's not your fault, okay? Simons was actually named after Barcelona's current coach and football icon Xavi by his father, Regilio Simons. Regilio had also played and coached football in the Netherlands, so it's not surprising that his son would follow in his footsteps. Born on April 21st, 2003 in Amsterdam, Xavi Ketenche Simons was only three years old when his family moved to Alicante, Spain. As his characteristic golden curls started to sprout early, so did his talent with the football. He was known for playing with boys who were way older than him in the streets of Rojales, Alicante. Four years later at age seven, he was signed into La Masia Academy of Barcelona in 2010. He joined way earlier than his iconic namesake who entered the Barcelona youth squad at 11 years old. But the young Simons didn't pick Xavi's name alone. Nope, he also borrowed from his playmaking and dribbling arsenal. Like Xavi, who was all about teamwork and creating chances for his teammates to score, Simons showed early on that he was all about the team. He also showed leadership qualities and didn't take long before he was made captain. The kid once spoke of his fondness for creating chance. Quote, when I score, I am happy. But if a teammate scores, I am also happy. So I prefer to assist because it's good for the team. With a mindset like that, his success and popularity came as swiftly as a cheetah. When he was in the infantile A and cadet levels of the Barcelona Academy, he was already famous. So famous, his coach, Carlos Martinez, would later say he was the player who had all eyes on him. Everyone wanted to see Xavi. We went to Sweden and everyone was taking pictures with him. No wonder when he was just 13 years old in 2016, he got his first brand deal from Nike and was appearing in commercials with Neymar, Coutinho, and other celebs. By the time he was 14 years old, he was already a social media sensation with over 1 million followers on Instagram. But while the youngster was making headlines, a shocking revelation was brewing in the background. By now, it was expected that the football wonderkind would follow the path of legends like Xavi, Iniesta, and Messi, who became senior Barcelona players. But unfortunately for the Catalan side, as soon as Simmons graduated as a cadet, he signed for PSG in July 2019 at the age of 16. This was only a year after he had represented the Netherlands for the first time as part of their under-15 squad. For PSG, who had committed a player heist and planned to pay the kid one million pounds a year, they were simply overjoyed. They had released a statement on their official website that partly read, with high technical quality and an excellent vision of the game, this young talent will now continue his training in the Rouge and Bleu. As for Barcelona, they were simply heartbroken. But what really happened to make Simons leave, despite all his success? Well, Fernie Agudelo, a close companion to Xavi Simon, had offered a rationale, stating, It wasn't a question of money. His entourage realized that he was reaching his ceiling and thought about joining another sporting project. Simons was focused on improving day by day, but Barca did not give him the guarantee that if everything went well, he would make his debut in the first team before the age of 18. Nevertheless, Barcelona had blamed it on Simons' agent, Mino Reola, the late Italian Dutch agent. According to reports, when Raiola became the kid's agent in September 2017, Barcelona feared the worst. Nevertheless, with the deal done, Simons appreciated Barca and jetted off to France to begin a new chapter. With so much expectation on his shoulders and the demands of a new and unknown environment, the kid was presented with his first real test. After completing his impressive stint in the PSG youth team, Simons was promoted to the senior team in 2021, where he would play alongside the likes of Mbappe and Neymar. He made his debut on February 11, 2021 for PSG during the round of 64 at the Coup de France. He had come in as a sub in the 78th minute for Julian Draxler. This would set up the pace for what was to be Simone's future in Paris. Mind you, it won't be for anything good. Simone's coming in so late to the game and getting little to no minutes would be the norm for him at PSG. His debut in the league came in April 2021 when he was subbed in the 89th minute. The next time he would make an appearance was after the season ended during the preseason games of the 2021-22 season. Even after scoring on two separate occasions in the preseason, he was demoted to the under-19 team. He returned to the senior team to play just six games in the regular season without any goals. As if that wasn't enough, he missed the last penalty that sent PSG packing to the Coup de France against Nice. By now, Simons was considered a flop, a failure, and Barcelona would probably have been gloating. 
Therefore, following the expiration of his contract in the summer of 2022, PSG let him go, but in the smartest way possible. You see, instead of agreeing on a full sale, PSG sold him with a buyback clause as a part of the deal. This simply means that if PSG wanted to buy the youngster at any time in the future, they would be able to. Nevertheless, Simons had the final say on whether he would want to go back or not. Let's see if he would. First, he went back to his roots, the Netherlands, to play for the Dutch League. Remember Ruud van Nistelrooy, the dangerous striker from Man United and Real Madrid many years ago? Well, he was the coach of PSV when Simons arrived. He offered the kid a chance in his squad and would later be grateful he did. He now describes Simons as way beyond his age. While Fred Rutain, assistant coach in Nisselroy, compared Simon's drive to that of Cristiano Ronaldo and Ibrimovic when he said, he's really hungry, he wants to be the best. I remember in the past, big players like Zlatan and Ronaldo, what they said at the age of 18 and 20, they wanted to be the best. That was in their heads, and that's also in the head of the boy. To say that Simon's was one of the best players in the league would be understating it. The kid was simply exceptional. In the Eredivisie 2022-23 season, he was the top scorer alongside Anastasios Duvacas with 19 goals. He became the youngest player in the Dutch league since Ronaldo de Lima to finish the season as the top scorer. It is even more impressive because Simons is a midfielder, and as far as midfielding duties were concerned, he was also exceptional. While his shot slash chance creation was rated at 97 out of 99, his carry and dribble volume was an impressive 89 out of 99. He also completed 74 out of 139 dribbles attempted, which put him at number 2 behind Mohamed Kudus of Hayak for the amount of completed dribbles in a season. He was 4th in the rankings of most fouls forced on the opponents with 78, and at the end of it all, he was named to the best 11 of the Eredivisie League. His magnificent production at the club level got him a call to the senior Netherlands team in the 2022 World Cup. He made his national debut during the round of 16 against the USA as a sub. This made him the youngest player to star in the knockout stages of a World Cup game. In July 2023, PSG quickly exercised the buyback clause and Simons was keen to return to Paris. PSG only had to pay £6 million and boom, the deal was done. However, in order to afford him more time to develop his talent, he was immediately loaned to Leipzig where he would have enough chance to play. And guess what he has been doing in the Bundesliga so far? Well, he has been nothing short of spectacular. When the best young players in Bundesliga are listed, you hear names like Jamal Musiala and Xavi Simons just around the corner. In nine appearances for Leipzig, Simons has scored three times and recorded six assists. He has also won 74 tackles and his passing accuracy stands at an impressive 79.7. His team is currently in fourth position and just three points behind table leaders Bayern Munich. Xavi Simon's remarkable career revival stands as a testament to the power of relentless dedication and unwavering determination. Compared to legends of the game, he started very well and was sought after by big teams, but his stay in France almost ruined things for him. But he refused to succumb to adversity. Instead, he embarked on a journey marked by resilience and hard work, ultimately transforming his prospects and rekindling his footballing dreams. But he wouldn't have been able to do any of this if he hadn't been given a chance when he was considered a flop. First by PSV, and now by Leipzig.